for a little bit for mm. a little while. So mm -hmm. yeah, of course. That's how I do my things. So, oh, you know, so I told you all natural. First and <laughs> foremost though, I do want to thank you for being the first person actually to give me the opportunity to do something like this with, which is I think is fucking awesome. Here we're here with Carol. Uh, sweet Henry, how do you pronounce it, Carol? First of all, because I'm be honest with you, a lot of people make this kind of names, and then it's like I know it has a hidden meaning. How do you say it? What does it mean? Yeah, um, it's Sway Generous. It's actually Latin um, for one of a kind. Latin for one of a kind. Yeah, so it's Sway Generous Makeup. That's my makeup brand. Um, but I'm also a beautician, cosmetologist. I do hair and makeup, so. My thing is making people feel beautiful. Feel beautiful. Why do you yeah. think that's important? Feeling beautiful. Oh, that's do you very think that, important. Do you think that's empowering some sort of way? Oh, heck for a woman? yeah. Heck yeah, especially for a woman. I mean, I know men, of course. My husband tells me all the time, you never tell me I'm sexy or whatever. But um, for a woman especially, um, we love to hear that from men or whoever our significant other is. And um, I love to help people with that sometimes people come into the shop and they're like oh i want to change i want to do something different for myself i want to feel better okay we talk about it you know what kind of haircut do you want do you want a hair color or whatever and we go about you know doing it and at the end the smile that they have on their face is like the best reward ever you know yeah it's very rewarding to make people feel beautiful and it's super important for women because we just need it. I mean, who doesn't like to hear, wow, you look beautiful or you're sexy or whatever. Who doesn't like to hear that? So how does that creative process go for you? How does that, does that interest you? What interests you more? The feeling gives you afterwards or the creative part of it? Because I know me as a barber, when a client comes in and they ask for different haircuts, that gets me excited. Mm -hmm. As opposed to me doing the same Caesars 24 seven. Oh yeah, no. It can definitely get boring sometimes because people would just come in for washing sets, washing sets, washing sets. And then after a while, someone comes in and they want color. And now that gets the gears in my mind going, like what's the color that they have in their hair now? You know, how can I achieve the color that they want? It definitely becomes something that I have to sit down. It's like chemistry. I have to sit down and think about it. So it's definitely about, um, the creative but it's also about figuring things out mm -hmm. and trying to get the outcome that they want that that i love challenge that you were like oh my god this is gonna be awesome to do just like got excited yes. to do oh beforehand. yeah yeah of course absolutely i've had that many times especially when coloring because i do a lot of coloring that's mm -hmm. like my specialty at the shop so when i see a girl comes in that she's never had coloring and i know that i'm gonna get the result that she wants that's super exciting so We've heard about you. I spoke about you a little bit. You know, warmed up a little bit. So now tell me about your makeup, actually. What is it you have here? What tools do you use? Why certain tools are more important than others? I mean, I'm a guy, so I really don't know much. <laughs> so school me. School me here. So tell me why I rather I have, have the basics here uh -huh. um, for to do a client. I have the lashes, the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use. I have here um, two lipstick palettes which carry I think 24 lipsticks in one so I have mm. variety there of lipsticks I have my tools these are the important the most important part of the makeup process you mentioned colors earlier what, what's important about certain shades of colors I see that this is all they're all almost you know different colors they're all different colors but they're all mostly the same shade is that a popular shade so here we have the nudes 
right and then you have the pinks and here you have like peaches so i try to kind of like organize it in a way where you can and then i have some reds here and purples and same here now you know not everybody that comes to you has the same skin tone mm -hmm. of course you know so you have to be prepared for different skin tones because not every color goes with all skin tones or one specific skin tone so you have to be prepared with various colors and how do you how do you decide which color goes with skin tone what color goes with me if i had to pick <laughs> if i had to get a makeup done which color would best fit me well i would ask you which color do you normally wear you know which color blue. do you feel comfortable with oh yeah right and i would okay you would say let's say purple or whatever so i would go to the shades that i have of purple and i would try it out i would i would either apply it on your lip and see how it looks and you would tell me yes or no so i would really go off more of what the client likes because if you know sometimes i find things that are like okay that's not the color for you but the client likes it mm -hmm. and you want to make them you know A certain artist someone that inspires you when you when you start thinking of these looks these colors to match on because yeah i understand that you want to pick a color that matches your skin but sometimes you want to put your creativity in there sometimes do you do you try to stretch take a stretch you know what i'm saying like steal second base um i'm usually i'm the makeup artist that kind of keeps it safe unless i'm like asked to you know um, okay, I want something very dramatic, then I'll definitely take it up a notch and stuff. But usually, for the most part, most of the clients um, that I get just want something simple and that's what I give them, you know what I'm saying? Now, if it's for a video or whatever, then, or for my YouTube channel, then I'll definitely take it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? And do something super creative on myself. That's, that's me, because I'm okay with it. Who's, who's your, who inspired you? actually who's your your one idol idol person if that if you have one someone you aspire to be like actually it's the best question i think okay so a major inspiration for me is mario that's kim kardashian i know who that um, is actually did a little bit of research i did a little bit of research i cannot I say this. i don't know what his last name is i don't think I know it's very either, hard I know to who, say she said that it's was. very hard to pronounce but um yeah, he's definitely an inspiration for me. His makeup looks are flawless. And that's what I try to aim for when I'm doing makeup. So he's definitely, and I actually attended one of his master classes in, in Manhattan. Yeah. How yeah, was that? It was very good. Was very very good. interesting. Yeah. So one more question about this. Tell me something that is, what is, if you had to pick an identity for you, something that you do, differently from somebody else how do you separate yourself from everyone else in this kind of field in the makeup field in the makeup field how do i separate how do i identify myself mm -hmm. um, i think you're good i think in the short time that you started this i think you thank you you. Dug, you know <laughs> thank you i mean um so I want to say that my goal is not to transform people. I don't want people to look different than who than what they are. Mm -hmm. I want them to look like a better version of themselves. You know what I'm saying? That they look in the mirror and they're like, "Wow, you know, this is me. This is this is my face." You know, I don't look like. I don't look caked up. I don't look like um, someone else. I look like myself, but I'm wearing makeup, but it looks supernatural. Like that's that's my that's what I think 
is my thing. I just want people to look like a better version of myself. producing and stuff like that Ooh, what keeps me motivated well again i thrive off of making people feel good that's just that's just my thing i i can't like i see i see people for example making comments on videos and stuff just putting people down you know what i'm saying if it's like if you if you got nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. So me, I would, I want to make you feel good. I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you, you know, things that are going to make you feel good. I want to do things on your face that you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to be like, wow, thank you, Carol. You're making me feel very good. That's just, that's just what it's about to me. That's what keeps me motivated. And I want, as far as my YouTube channel, I want people to... To know my knowledge, to know what I know about the beauty industry and all that stuff, you know, skincare and makeup and how to apply it properly and how to take care of your hair and stuff like that. That's that's just me putting my knowledge out there for everyone to know, you know. I gotta share the wealth. That's what it's about. That's what keeps me motivated. Okay. Okay. So last question. This is the last question now. So <laughs> if you had one piece of advice to give people who want to start in this makeup field or following your footsteps, you know, of course we're not there yet, we're nowhere close, but we're starting and that's all you need, you know, to get start, to start to get the engines going. So one bit of advice that you can give somebody who wants to follow, you know, Mario's footsteps, your footsteps, what do you give them, what do you say? Don't be discouraged by what you see on social media, because, you know, you go on Instagram and you see these massive you know people that have 500 brushes and they have uh, 10 palettes and they have a whole bunch of lipsticks and stuff you know you are you might think to yourself oh my god how am I gonna get that like I don't have that right now to be able to pull this off you gotta start from somewhere and honestly you gotta start from the bottom if you have five brushes two palettes whatever go ahead don't be afraid just jump into it and get started that's the most important part the the rest of the stuff like the makeup that you need you know as as, as when you start making money you'll start buying investing in more stuff you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so just just start with whatever it is that you have you know don't don't think that you have to go ahead and spend all this money on all these tools and all these products to get started. You don't. You really don't. You can create a whole makeup look with two, three brushes. And that's it. Just don't get discouraged by what you see on Instagram because everything, it looks like they just got started where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they really started from the bottom with two or three tools and, and, and just a few uh, makeup products and um, and that's not true. It's not true. Yeah, everybody start started from the bottom yeah, and like Drizzy bottom, says, started right. from the bottom and hopefully we're there yet. Hopefully Work we get way there. Up. Only way you're gonna get this through hard work. Exactly. Well, well Carol, I wanna thank you for being the first guest on Vibes. Hopefully we'll work again together, do Absolutely. something dope, go out somewhere, take some photos, I don't know, do like a trip, an adventure where we actually go out and have a couple of drinks. You know how I like to do my little reality type stuff, shake mm -hmm. candle in my hand and make it work, all right? Absolutely. Yes. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Sounds good. Anything <laughs> else you want to tell everyone before we leave? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yes. Subscribe to her channel, guys. And mine too, all right? Yes. Thank you for chopping too. in. Guys, we've been chopping it up. We've been vibing it out, actually. And uh, look forward to putting this up. And hopefully everybody likes it. Episode 2 will come out soon. I'll let you guys know. Anyways, deuces. Deuces.
Thank <laughs> you.